Don't make this common mistake when sketching proportionality graphs. And this isn't just for maths, it's for any STEM subject too. So part A, sketch y is directly proportional to x. So if we write that out, that would look like y is proportional to x, which means that y is equal to k lots of x, where k is any constant. So as x increases, y is also going to increase. And we need to know that if x is equal to 0, y is also going to be equal to 0. This means it goes to the origin. So the graph would start here and increase linearly. And that's it. This is the one where people tend to make mistakes on. y is inversely proportional to x. So if we write that out, that would look like y is proportional to 1 over x, which means that y is equal to k over x. So now let's take a look at this. If x is 1, y is going to be equal to 1. Let's say k is 1. If x is equal to 2, y is equal to a half. If x is 3, y is equal to a third. Notice the difference between these is not the same, so it's not a linear curve. It's an uneven distance and it decreases at a smaller rate. So initially you're decreasing at a large rate and then you're decreasing at a smaller rate. So this is what that graph looks like. And that's it.